Hi guys and welcome to Oasis Park. Thank you all so much for being here. I have been working on the tram area and various other areas in the park. So I'm excited to show you what I have. This might um, be broken into two videos, I'm not sure, but we'll see. So we have here the tram area and I already did the station, but this area behind here, I'll just zoom over here. I didn't have anything in this space back here. So I've put in a pond. There really wasn't much else I could put in here because I didn't want to put a ride or anything like that because it's officially not part of the park. It is attached to the parking lot over here. There's the main entrance. So they come, they get on the tram and they can either um, go to the hotel if they're hotel guests or, um, you know, they come from the hotel to the entrance or there is also an entrance over here now so i've been wanting to finish this area off because it really didn't make a whole lot of sense so let me show you what i've done so far so this is basically just scenery right here and then we have if y'all remember this area back here where you come in over here at the tunnels uh, buses, taxis can come in here at the tunnels and they go around the sign. And this was a big blank area. There was no way to go into the hotel. So what I have done is a whole bunch of work over here. And I added this bus terminal so now they can come in here. And they can either come up through the subway and they can get a cab. Um, this is where the buses depart. And when they come in, hopefully I'm not giving you all whiplash here. They come around this way to the hotel and the buses come in this way. And they can turn here or if it's a cab or whatever. And they come in here. And there is an electronic gate where they have a pass and it opens the gate for them and they can go directly to the hotel. So that's their entrance to the hotel or, and I've added all these little um, road signs also, directional signs, or the bus can come in here and this is a very small parking lot, I know, but you know, I didn't want to take a, I wanted to stick with the footprint that was here and not have a whole, whole huge area for buses. But um, I think this works well, but most of the time they're not going to park anyway. They're just going to come over here. They're going to drop off their people. We have our bus arrivals and they have benches, of course, they can sit on. And then they just go on out. And when the people are leaving the park, they can just come over here and there's the departures. And when they're coming in here, they can, oops, sorry about that, get on the tram. And apparently that's a very popular ride right now because everybody's getting on the tram. And technically this little area over here is supposed to be a staff entrance. But I put a path there. I may have to take that out because the people are walking through the wall. Um, it's supposed to be just for staff. So I'll have to fix that so the people can't go through there. It's for their um, little golf carts and things like that. I'm glad I got this area finished off. I like um, the way it turned out with all the little road signs. The buses are awesome. Love that. And now we have... Um, when they get off the bus, they can just walk over here, follow the path, and there is a person sitting. Well, he's upset. What's wrong, dude? I don't know. They wouldn't let you in the hotel? Sorry, you gotta be a guest. <laughs> 
So she's sitting here uh, watching for key cards and making sure that only hotel guests get through this gate. See if she's going to get through. Yeah. So that's that entrance. And let me show you what else I have for you today. Okay. I have 8 million people in the park right now, guys. So um, I'm just going to let them go because I enjoy watching them. <laughs> If it gets, you know, too laggy, then I'll go ahead and, and turn it off. But uh, anyway, so this area right here, this goes, you know, past the antique car ride. And it was a big blank area along this sidewalk. So what I have done is I'm managing the park also. So I wanted to uh, address their needs and they were hungry, thirsty and all that. So all along here, I have put in some buildings that kind of go with the antique um, car ride and with the other buildings that are over here, um, kind of the same, same style. I needed another staff building, so I wanted to add that. So all this little area here is new. We've added an ATM, uh, some drink shops, wanted to keep them all pretty similar, nothing, you know, uh, too themed or out of the ordinary for, um, to keep in, in, uh, the same architecture and stuff as the buildings that are along this road and, and the rides and stuff. Added this little courtyard for them to sit down and eat. This building is is uh, pretty much a replica of the other staff building. Um, used a little bit different colors and things like that. Put a gift shop in it. And then another little food court area. For as many people as in the park, that are in the park, nobody's sitting at the benches. Of course, they're brand new. I just put them in, so um, they just don't know they're there yet, I guess. And then since this... Um, I love the signs, and I think in a park, they're going to be commercialized as much as possible. So I went ahead and, and used the signs. Um, very gaudy, but I like it, because I think that's what would be in a park. They got the big hot dog on the side there, and uh, on this side over here, You've got the hot dog squad sign in the back, along with the chief beef sign. And then a giant hamburger over here on this side, because there's a ride queue right here. So what better advertisement than to have a giant hamburger while they're waiting for a ride? <laughs> that's, that's my thought process anyway. And then over here I did the same thing. I forgot to show you... You have your gulpy sign on the on the side here, but then I also there's one in the back. And then of course on this side there's one here, which is a little less less obvious, but when they walk past it they can definitely see it. So that's that area. I put in a whole bunch of benches and trash cans and lighting. Um not sure about the lamp posts. Maybe y'all could tell me. I think they need to go on the pathway, not on the grass. Um, let me know what y'all think about that. I, I don't want to interfere with the people moving, and I was afraid they would, so um, I probably will end up moving them. But let me all let, let me know what y'all think. Okay, so moving down this road, I still have a little work to do on the path. Not sure what's going to go on the left side here. But we are coming into the kitty area. This whole area over here is mostly kids' rides, arcades, um, merry-go-rounds, things like that. So I did have a suggestion to build a um, kitty play park because I do have some things in here that resemble, you know, a, a some kind of little climb-on toy. Um, I have my little rocket ship and my mouse. So I uh, took this suggestion and I attempted to build a play park. 
it's very small it's just a, a little um a little park i made all the little i have no idea how to how to build a play park guys so so this is my little attempt at a play park <laughs> i'm not sure how it turned out i'm sure there are better ones on the workshop but um you know i decided to go ahead and try it so nothing fancy it's very small we have um like I said in the background you can see the rocket ship and and things like that so we have here our little chief beef um, sponsored slide hello lamp and they would uh, land on a donut literally land on a donut <laughs> and then back here if I can get my camera to cooperate we have a climbing um, kind of like a, a very small climbing rope um rock wall i guess is what you want to call it for little toddlers and our little swing and maybe some those are actually trash cans um in the back they're oh they're facing the wrong way <laughs> actually they're facing the right way but um yeah okay i'm gonna have to fix that <laughs> uh forgot they have to be facing the path and then they have a little ball if they want to kick the ball around that sort of thing and then a little fun splatter on the ground i do not um, know anything about rock walls so it's probably not um correct but that was my attempt at a little play park and i think it fits the corner uh pretty well um i like it the sign is just kind of real basic um nothing nothing fancy not sure about the sand um it, they wouldn't have grass in there um or concrete so we're kind of limited as far as, as what to put in there but so I'll probably leave it as sand so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you being here um leave me some comments and let me know what you think so far of the new areas and where i should go next um i've had some uh creativity here lately which is unusual for me because um you all know i'm not the best builder in the world but um i've been quite busy in planet coaster lately so let me all let me know what y'all think i appreciate it thanks so much for watching guys and i hope to see you in the next one thanks and game on Bye.